Greetings YouTube, Kunis here, and let's continue our Sudanese expedition. Where we last left off, Clemson is dead, and we're gonna eat some vassals next year. So let's continue doing just that. We can also state things. Um, it seems Algiers is actually... 27 is not great, but it's not bad. I mean, we do have the state limit to amount for it. Yeah, we can get 15 states. The other two are really not worth it, but maybe stating... Um, Algiers itself is worth it. I did unfortunately kick them for uh, stability, so the provinces aren't really worth much. Maybe I'll wait. I'll wait before. I'll wait until um, until uh, autonomy has decayed enough that it's justifiable. And also, I'll recall the automatic because I wanted to be able to recall all three of them, and on January first, begin the annexation of all three of them. Two of them will be instant, and then Tafilald will take seven development over a while to do, but that's okay. It'll be fine. The ship is still going up, which is the direction we want it to go. Hopefully we won't get more bad events. Uh, I want to... Are oh, you guaranteed by Tunis? I want to diplovasilize this guy. I'm very interested by this prospect, but we will begin the process later as we're done with the other two. Or the other... Yeah, the other two, essentially. Uh, which is very soon the end of the war the roses. Congratulations, England, for your peace. Uh, our money is looking up, which is the direction we want it to go. Our inflation is going down. Everything is going swimmingly. Our friendship with the Ottomans is real and strong and meaningful. And I appreciate it so much. And, uh, yeah. Things are good. Things are looking good. The only thing that's missing is admin points. Treason against Morocco. This is unfortunate. I don't really need manpower. Well, I mean, manpower is always useful, but right now, not a critical stat. And I don't want 800 in a bunch of provinces. I don't want to have to fight things. It's not worth it. This is not worth it. Okay. Once the year ticks, boom. Now we will annex all three of these guys. Okay. Begin triple annexation. Ex vassal, ex vassal, ex vassal. Amazing. Thing is, this guy will take a while because he has one province that needs to be. Uh, they didn't. It's gonna be three per month, so it's gonna take not that long. And boom, two diplo slots have been regained, reclaimed for the motherland. Um. Swiss is a state. I guess actually no, it's a good state. Oh, I already have it stated. Nice. Um, Southern Morocco I could state for free. If it's free, might as well. And then Central Morocco is already a state. Um, what is my force limit now? 24 of 24. We are exactly at our force limit. But we have gained two extra horses. I guess we can keep them for now. Um, let's mothball all the forts. Okay. Now we are impactful and meaningful in terms of troop count. Now we have an army. Daffalot getting eaten. Are you still in the uh, market for getting vassalized? Yes, you are. Okay. Let's improve relations with this guy. Prepare for his annexation. Because I will eat free food. You can count on the fact that I will go for free food. It is the best kind of food. You are extremely unhappy because I have aggressive expansion and we are, you know, disagreeing about our flavor of Jesus. That's okay. That's all something that can be fixed. I oh, know, I'm one over my diplo slot limit again until I eat this guy. Um. July. Oh, I can't because he hates me too much. Or because I hate him too much. Well, I'll work on other stuff in the meantime. I'll, uh, you know, make myself like him more. Okay. 
11, transfer trade power, there we go, we are at minus 20, which is it's acceptable for an alliance. Excellent, excellent. The freest of food is the food we don't even have to fight for. Um, September 14th, we've gained an ally. Can offer you military access. I am unfortunately not a great power, so I cannot influence him, but we'll see where we can go. We'll see how high it goes. For military access. Improved relations can go up another 70, which is 169. And then there's the aggressive expansion that needs to decay, which would account for the rest of it. I'll probably pad it with a gift at some point. Um, if my economy can just uh, fix itself. I feel like I don't need the fort in Tangiers. I feel like that's not a useful fort. Okay. Alright. You're about to be eaten. Things are looking up. I'll keep my Diplo points because I want to unlock exploration first. That is the key. And actually, I will end up over my, dip my military force limit once I eat this guy. But that's okay. Tefalot will be a fine state. Now, come on. Uh, legalism, sure. Okay, we have successfully consolidated Morocco. The Poles are fighting against the Teutons. Integration is a slow process. How over my limit am I? In terms of troop count, also I should state uh, Tafelalt. One, it's a free state, and two, Tafelalt itself will be developed to hell and back. Is the Renaissance spreading? I suspect the Ottomans will sell it to me anyway. And I will gladly buy it. Okay, anyway, how over my military limit? I'm a four over. So let's ditch two horses. We will ditch two horses, and then maybe we'll ditch two more troops from here. Alright. Okay. Excellent. We have fixed our economy. Noticeably, but we've also gained the gold mine, so you know it helps. It helps a lot. Do I develop the Renaissance? I don't really want to. I don't want to develop it. If only because... I mean, if it spreads to me, it's a waste of points to develop it. And I suspect it will make its way to me in a timely fashion. Okay, my army is now 25. I've killed the... Oh crap, now it's 26. I've killed one too many troops. Oh well. I can't afford my entire, you know, troop count anyway. How bad is my inflation? It's still going down, but not nearly as much. I need to always have that guy active. And essentially, I will eventually develop the crap out of Tafilalt, and that's going to be really bad for me. Okay. Um, where am I trading? You are collecting trade in Sevilla. Let's uh, send more boats in that general direction. Uh, send the boats. You are to protect trade in Sevilla. These are just cogs. I don't care about the cogs so much. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. These are also just cogs that I don't care about. I now have like 16 cogs because of course I do. Algiers is the only state worth making right now. Um, I'm going to split my army in two because clearly it attrition itself when it's all in the same stack. I can take up in Diplo, but I will not take up in Diplo. I will instead get the first two ideas of uh, Diplo as soon as I get them. I'm gonna go and pay for my army for a second, because I'm gonna cleanse Tuat of all of its dudes, so that when I colonize it, I don't have to protect it. That is essentially all I'm after. Tuat is probably the most important colonization target, because it opens the path to Timbuktu. And then to eating all of South Africa. 
And by South Africa, I mean West Africa. You know, I know my cardinal directions. It's south of me, so it misled me. All right. Let's clean the Sahara up. Hey guys, how about you get the hell out of my desert? There we go. Pleasure doing business with you. There's no one left. We're going back to Fez. I want to take up in admin, but not in Diplo. Okay, you are still seeing your opinion of me improve. Oh, ruler of our culture is a modifier that's dropping. That's actually annoying. That's actually troubling. Same religious school is a good thing. You desire t titty, but thankfully that's worth zero. Um, let's mothball our armies. Or at least not fully mothball them, but mothball them just enough. Okay. We have boats. Life is good. We only have three heavies. We have five light ships, though. They should be doing something useful. Like protecting trade in Sevilla. So if you look at our trade right now, we are collecting Safi as much as we can. And, uh... Yeah, otherwise things are looking up. The Gort is getting Tunist. That is fine. That'll be the frontier between me and him. I will get Mzab. He will get to Gort. Oh, oh, he's no longer my ally. He was made to break alliance with me, probably through these wars. Which is fine by me in the end, because it means I can go eat him. Without preservation. And I like this. When does my truce with him end? In two years. In two years I can go and reconquest his face. And then some. And I like that. I like that a lot. I like that very much. Um, if I look at regions, this is the Sahel. So I will want to get all of it. Probably including these provinces. Wait, is this part? This is part of Fezan? Is this part of Fezan? No, it's not part of Fezan. This is part of Sahel as well. So I'll need to colonize that as well. And the reason I want exploration is so I can see what's going on down there and I can block them. That is extremely important that I block them. I don't want Europeans to have to. F I don't want to. Have to I don't want to have to drive out Europeans from my Africa, because that's a pain. It's always a pain. Let's get the tech for temples. And now all we need is this. Once we get that mint tech five, we can begin our mission. And as long as we're allied to the Ottomans, things are fine. I am not afraid of anything as long as they are my friend. Peasants were in the Timurids. Why do I even know about this? <laughs> oh, hey, alone. Look at that. A nice, big, chunky loan. You stupid nobles. Hey, give me back some money. It's not enough, so I only get one loan. But one loan is better than two loans. Oh, that's a massive loan, too. I got some pretty meaty loans. At least as far as my earlier loans were concerned. I still don't know where we are at for the Renaissance. It's trying to spread, but it's spreading so very slowly. Uh, yeah, it's not spreading in me at all. Portugal will get it and eventually maybe spread it through here, but I don't know if it spreads through rivals. I'll have to check. But... Uh, yeah, worst case, the Ottomans are definitely getting it, and they will probably want to sell it to me. So I'm excited about that prospect. Diplotech, I don't want Diplotech game! I need the admin tech! I might be able to Diplotech once, but that's gonna be it. Wait, also, can I send you a gift? Because now I could Diplovassalize you. There we go. One gift later, and you are a Diplovassalized person. Marvelous! Peasants were in Bengal, I don't care. And the best part is, you are Ibadi, and I won't have to deal with uh, your terrible land. Alright, we've gained a vassal. Hooray! We've gained another vassal. Now we're back to 4 out of 4 Diplo slots, which is fine. I mean, we're, we still were, because he was taking up a slot already anyway. Um, if I look at the religious map mode, 
Ooh, I can gain ducats and insult my clergy. Make it clear I need to contribute. You have a Sunni province and an Ibadi province. Your Ibadi province is worth three. Um, you have no liberty desire. I could enforce religion on you. And now the province that has the wrong religion is the other one. Include subject. I can convert it for 45 months. That's, that's a done deal if I've ever seen one. Easiest decision. Um, yeah, it'll stabilize everything. It'll make you more loyal as a vassal and, uh, well, less at first, but more later. Which is exactly how I wanted it. Let's improve relations with Algiers. As our truce with our food expires. Who are you getting attacked by? Tugurt and Fazan, you're not getting attacked, you're attacking. Isn't Sirta Tunis province? You're probably forced to return. No, never mind. Sirta's not a Tun uh, Tunis province. I'm crazy. Sirta's, uh... Very often gets eaten by Tunis or by Mamlux. Actually, Mamlux usually diplovassalize Fazan. Are you diplovassalizable? You're not diplovassalizable. You're too far and too big. Alas. Can I threaten war to Gord for a Wargla? Oh, there's a truce. I cannot. Oh, right, because I attacked this guy. Haha. <laughs> December? Yeah, that that's, that's going to be too late. Uh, I suspect Tunius will be done with his meal then. We've lost our general. No, he was nice. No, come back, general. I want you back. Can I get uh, admin points from my uh, Ulema? No, I cannot, and not for another while. Thankfully, it's not as bad as when you're Catholic and losing papal stuff. Muslim ulema is just kind of irrelevant. I can just kind of ignore them. I still, they still cost me tax money, but uh, short term, I got to repay that loan, so I'll take it. I'd love to start building temples, though. I'd love to start improving our economy, because we'll need to be building colonies, and colonies are expensive. And, uh, yes. When does my truce with you expire? Which month? March. Oh, truce with Dugort has ended. Hey, Dugort. How about a free province? Prince of Alliance plus 100. And he will still not accept. Um, unfortunately, you are now sitting on my thing. Which would be my CB for this guy. Um... Also, you know what? Let's just do it. Hey, wait, no, I have a true swing. But I have a old marriage. It'll cost me one stability to do this. Uh, I can get... I don't care about trader privileges. I don't necessarily want more money. I do like manpower. So manpower it is. Especially since our land is worth nothing. Okay. Let's bump our army maintenance. And, um, uh, if I was to attack Togurt, Fezan would not come. I could take Wargla and run away with it. That's a free expansion, let's just do it. It's gonna be a nice warm-up for attacking, um, Tunis. Um, I forget who established the royal marriage, though, me or Tunis. I definitely want to break it. But at the same time, I don't. Because I don't want to pay the stability. Our truce with Tunis has expired. So now would be the time for it, but... Uh, that's not how these things work. Let's get a general. It's not very good. I missed the guy my nobles gave me. Um, yeah, let's go and save this. Once I've killed his armies, he'll probably be a lot more receptive to, uh, you know, getting eaten. Oh, he has been pieced out. I have a hundred war score, so you will get pieced out. And this is done. And now I get to attack Tunis. Hey, Tunis! You owe me some land. I have two conquests and a reconquest. I'll take the reconquest. Uh, there we go. Who needs stability, right? When there is land to be gained. I can still take up in Diplo and refuse to. 
That's a seven troops if I've ever seen one. But it has a good general. But we have troop count. But he has a good general. Togortian separatists, still a problem. Not for much longer. Oh, nice, he retreated. Hooray! Okay. Easy war. Easy war. I want to go sit on Kef. And I want to go deal with... Well, why? Oh, it's mine! It's... Uh, it's supposed to go to the vassal. I'll give it to the vassal after. Not much of value happened. Oh, well. Hey, Fazan! How do you feel about being a vassal? Distance between borders is far too big. Otherwise, there might be a chance. There just might be. Okay. You got the Gortian separatists that are... Oh, he's, he's dealt with them. That's fine. Oh, he has an army. He sure has an army. Unfortunately for him, it's not big enough. It is not big enough at all. Okay, we've retaken this thing. I will not core it. I would actually try to convert it if I could, but uh, is this still progressing? It is. Excellent. Good to see. Yes. Yes, indeed, good to see. These are indeed the words I would use in this situation. Um, I want to go to Tunis. And, uh... Essentially take it. I want to go take his capital. That is the prize. How much war score are you worth? You are 204, so I can get a little less than half of your country in this war. So I'll have to make tough choices. But I will probably get the parts that border Fez. And I would like to take your state of Tunis, because that is a really good state. On a good day. And uh, I'm losing money. It's fine. Algiers' capital is level 3. So you have fun sitting on that. I'm going to siege Kef, and when Kef falls, I'll be able to go sit on Tunis. And that's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing indeed. Free war. The best kind of war. Now, I don't want to spend admin points on any of it, which is why I have vassals. Because I cannot afford admin points on any of it right now. Let's go uh, have you not attrition yourself like an idiot. My poor manpower. Um, they are welcome addition to our country. All right. We've gained a base tax in Sus, which is great. All right. I love immigrants. Free base tax. The best kind. Come on, Kef. Yes! 14%! That is so lucky. Okay, where are your troops? I'm gonna try to kill them both. Okay, I've killed one. The other one is stuck on Bizerte. Probably blocked by his own fort. Oh no, I have boats getting killed. They're supposed to go home at war. Well, win this battle, please. Okay. What is going on? I've captured a ship? That's a lot of uh, consecutive naval battles. It's like he doesn't know where to run with his boats. Okay, go home at war. There we go. What the hell's going on? It's like this boat keeps fighting and being unable to escape. It's like a fate worse than death. No, you go sit on Tunis. You're gonna like it. You go fight the one stack. I don't care about the one stack. Oh, the one stack's up here, even. That's even better. Squish goes the one stack. Okay. Marvelous. Marvelous. Oh, crap. He's already sieged the level 3 fort. That was quick. That was really quick. That was way too quick, you bastard. That's okay. I have the war goal and... Uh, I have your capital state, except for your capital, which I'm in the process of taking. Unless I have your capital, it's gonna be easy. Do you have boats, even? I think his fleet was sunk. If his fleet was sunk, then I can use my heavies, I can bully him at sea. I am so not used to using my boats, because I always neglect my navy. 
Um, Portugal claimed the thing. I sank a transport. Okay. We are now blockading Tunis, which will make this uh, the siege go by faster. Okay, we've converted uh, Mozambique province of Mzab to Sunni, as it should be. Excellent. Completely excellent. He's taken Dara, which is far less excellent. We got a little bit of lag. Oh, his army is shrinking. Before our eyes, it is melting. I suspect he is uh, running dangerously close to bankruptcy from back-to-back -back wars after wars after wars. Wait, that means I can even go sit on this stupid fort. Oh. Which complicates what I'll actually want from him all of a sudden. I don't know what I'll want from him all of a sudden. Oh, I can go take the stupid fort. I can go take the stupid fort. Guys, I can go take the stupid fort and it's exciting me. Way too much. Let's go take the stupid fort. Delay the siege of Tunis, but it's okay. Sank transport. Okay. We have taken that. Let's go take the stupid fort. I hate that fort so much. Because it's always such a pain to take. Because there's always more boats than me. That's that's me neglecting my navy. But in this case, I have the superior navy. Castille, Aragon, and Portugal all made sure of that. When they trashed him. Let's go and uh, work on the uh, fort here. Where is Mzab? Oh, man, Mzab is here. He's He has an army. He's just not using it. Okay, let's go help the... Uh, Unseige the level 3 fort, which he has worked so hard for, for nothing. I still... Too far from tech 5. Oh, I can tech 5 in military, though. Don't mind if I do. I can get Muslim dual infantry. Amazing. It's definitely something I wanted. Okay. Vassals, please, go fight the 2-stack. Go and, uh, wait, I have 84% war score. Can I, can I make demands? Can I take the stupid fort? I can't ask for the stupid fort because I do not occupy the stupid fort. So no, I need to take the stupid fort to take the stupid fort. <sighs> All right, let's take the stupid fort. Priority on sieging the vassal because I want my vassal to be stable because I'll be feeding him a lot of land. And then we'll see about other stuff. We'll transfer these two things to Mzab so we don't make that mistake again. Hodna belongs to no one, but it's Algerian Sunni, so you will get a kick out of Hodna. Uh, you are Berber, so it's gonna be okay. I can convert Wargla, but I will only convert it when it belongs to Mzab. Because Mzab will have no autonomy on it, and uh, things will be fine. Oh well, he'll probably have some autonomy, but I don't care. Tunis did a thing. Wait, I have, I have four boats here. Also, this fleet has a uh, transport that it shouldn't have. Probably because I stole it. Where is the rest of my fleet? Where's the rest of my trade ships? They're here, and they're not going home at war. Let's send them, let's bring them here. Cancel your mission. Then we'll have two fleets. One of them will get the other useless transport that we stole and send it over here, and then you will help siege the stupid fort faster. Okay. Marvelous. Freest of expansions. The end of the peasant war in Bengal. Why do I know of this? My points are getting high, but not high enough. Okay, the stupid fort is falling. Falling, falling fast. You are unseaging yourself. You are, I'm sure you are so proud of that. Um, legalism and prestige or mysticism and lots of bad stuff. Legalism and prestige. We will not mess with the guilds. I don't care about my mysticism. It is not the stats that I care to maintain. Um, he's not building more troops. 
Either he's bankrupt or he's otherwise incredibly weak. Um, actually, that's one thing though. Maybe I can take most of his coastline. That should be a fine target. Hey, Tunis. How much is it to take most of your coastline? Oh, wow. We only get to there with 97. Wow, okay. Let's take useful stuff instead. Alright, but for now, I've reached the end of the episode. So for now, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time when we'll see how we piece out Tunis in a proper fashion. See you guys next time.